All right, for more on the life and legacy of Kelvin Kiptoum, we are joined by our CGTN correspondent, Sadiq Shaban. Sadiq, welcome to Sports Scene. Thank you for taking time to speak to us. Sadiq, a sad day for Kenya, a sad day for the world, a sad day for the athletics world indeed. Sadiq, a lot of promises were made to honor the legacy of Kelvin Kiptoum by the government and his management team at his funeral. Can you talk to us about some of these pledges? As you've rightly mentioned, Richard, the country is still smarting from uh, the demise of this young talent, cut short at only 24 years. And as we heard, the president of Kenya, William Ruto, uh, was among those who said the government of Kenya will honor the man posthumously. Uh, he said the government of Kenya will award the family an equivalent of five million shillings. That is about $35,000. Uh, he will also posthumously have his family uh, benefit from a free housing that will be provided by government. And there have been calls tonight for his winning bib and shoes and the outfit that he wore last year in Chicago uh, to be immortalized in a museum here in Nairobi Athletics Museum as a way of remembering uh, this, uh, this man. Uh, his management also say they will sit down and ensure that all his dues, uh, including what is accruing from the world record he set last year, uh, will be paid to the family. The government also say they will uh, build a stadium in his local town in honor of Kiptum. All right, Sadiq, back to reality, so to speak. Uh, what are Kenyan authorities saying on the measures that will be put in place to avoid the untimely deaths of its talented distance runners on the country's roads following the demise of Kiptum? Uh, Kiptum would be the second high profile elite Kenyan athletes to have perished in a tragic road accident in some time 2015. Uh, we lost another one, Beth, the former 400 meters uh, hurdler, who also uh, tragically died. Uh, there have been calls for athletes and uh, the managers and the National Federation to hold sensitization seminars focusing on lifestyle and options available at, uh, at the disposal of athletes so that they can keep themselves uh, safe and avoid situations uh, which also the President of Kenya noted uh, could predispose them uh, to such a tragedy such as the one we've seen with Kiptum. All right, and Sadiq, let's talk about his world records in Valencia, his records in London, and of course the records he broke in Chicago. Will we see any athletes in the near future even coming near to breaking those records? We haven't seen any progression by an athlete at this level and of this kind as we saw with Kip Toom, just breaking, uh, you know, breaking into the world scene and setting three of the f seven fastest marathon records within a year. It has never been seen before. Uh, when he ran in Valencia and set that time of two hours, one minute and 53 seconds, then he went to London, uh, two hours, one minute and 25 seconds, the second fastest time in the world of marathon, and then breaking the world record, uh, two hours and 35 seconds in Chicago. Many historians are still, were still compiling these figures and trying to comb the history books to see who else may have progressed thus far. Kiptum didn't start his training or his career in the track or the cross country. He just burst into the road running scene and got into the top of the game within a year. So I don't think the world will ever see talent such as Kiptum's. And finally, Sadiq, before we let you go, how would you say Kelvin Kiptum will be best remembered? Richard, uh, CGTN, I had planned to go and speak to Kiptum in the coming days. He had agreed to an interview with us, but then, as you now know, that would not be possible. Such was the nature of this man. He was a humble man. He was a friend to many. Kiptum was a jovial man. He didn't uh, make any big fuss about his big reputation. Kiptum had time for a lot of people, both young and the old. He was very respectful, and from uh, his funeral, the state funeral, uh, on, on Friday, that became very clear. He is a man who was praised, uh, had lavish praises from his family, from his athletes, friends, and also from his management, and also uh, chiefly the World Athletics boss flew all the way from Monaco to Nairobi and also to his rural, uh, rural home uh, to eulogize this man. Uh, this was um, a gem of some sort, really. We've never seen this kind of talent in, in Kenyan athletics. And as I said, I don't think the world would see anything or anyone like Kelvin Kiptum.